We can see that it's a one to three dilution. This is what it looks like studying what might be the key to living healthier longer. Dr. Nathan Labrasur and his team at the Mayo Clinic have honed in on one of the most important aspects of aging, zombie cells. Zombie cells. Sounds kind of freaky. It does sound freaky. So these are cells that have experienced a lot of damage and they're so damaged that they don't work properly anymore and they wreak havoc on surrounding cells and tissues, but they're not so damaged that they die. So they have this reputation of being zombie cells because they look dead. Zombie cells are known in the medical field as senescent cells. When we're young, they can be helpful against the spread of cancer. But as we age, the more zombie cells you have that have been compromised, meaning they're older, they're weaker, and they're damaged, the worse your health could be. Research is being done to see if there are ways to kill off these cells or even change them, which in a way would stop or slow the aging process. As we age, these cells are not effectively cleared from the system, and as they accumulate, that's when they really cause damage and harm. Mayo Clinic researchers are learning a lot in the lab, using mice of the same age to compare those with a lot of zombie cells and those with fewer zombie cells. The difference is dramatic. This one hasn't had any medical intervention. This one has, they're the exact same age. That's right. So really kind of a mix of kind of age-related conditions that we see in humans with changes in the eyes, changes in the posture, changes in the muscle, and, and, and reductions in function, physical activity. Dr. Labrasur says physical activity and healthy living are crucial to naturally ridding ourselves of these damaging zombie cells. What's the best way to avoid having a buildup of them in the first place? Yeah, I'm not going to surprise you. It's the fundamentals of healthy aging. Exercise. It's, it's, exercise is number <laughs> one. I'm a bit of an exercise evangelist. But in addition to that, healthy eating behaviors, um, sleep, other things are really critical to optimizing the biology of aging. That's because healthy habits can prevent zombie cells from occurring. And the research has now advanced enough to bring actual humans into the mix. The team's currently studying senior citizens, tracking their cells and health. Susan Mackert is 73 years young. Has participating in this study made you think differently about aging compared to when you started? It, it has in a way. What it has done is made me realize that I am aging. I, I, I don't think about that normally, but it, yes, it, it has put me in that generation with others that now can say, oh, we're aging. We're all aging. And that's okay. We're all aging. Aside from human studies, one of the latest developments in aging research is on skin. Here, Dr. Saranya Wiles is measuring the moisture of my skin to show that older skin heals more slowly than younger skin. But wait until you see what kind of sci-fi stuff she's doing. This is where we print the skin. Oh my gosh, so now I'm looking at it and actually realizing what I'm holding. So when you say those are skin cells, is, is that actually skin? That is skin. So that's skin growing in my hand. Correct. First of all, this is entirely freaky and totally crazy, but also awesome. What are you looking for exactly? We're looking for changes that are histologically seen. We can actually model different ages of skin based on the zombie cells. So if we were to put 10% zombie cells versus 25% zombie cells, this is in, then we can mimic a 30-year-old skin versus a 50-year-old skin. Dr. Labrasur says all the research they're doing isn't to create a fountain of youth, but to keep us healthier until the very end, no matter how long you live. Our goal is not to help people live until they're 120 and feel like they're 120. The goal of aging research is really to extend human health span. 80% of our medical resources are given to 20% of the population. If we could extend human health span and really delay age-related diseases as a group, that would transform society. So yeah, I, I'm sorry to report this is not a fountain of youth, but Dr. Labrasur says if they can figure out a way to get rid of zombie cells as we age, then certain diseases like Alzheimer's or cardiovascular disease and more could be put off until all the way to the final stages of life. So instead of people getting sick and living like that for years uh, and years, the idea is that we will live healthier lives and only potentially get very sick at the very end, which which when you think about it is really truly amazing stuff that they're doing there, you guys. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, cool. Stuff. Thank you, Going. Jacob. Okay. Oh, Thank you, talked Jacob. about the quality of yeah. life as well yeah. toward yeah. the end. You look yeah. skeptical. No, I'd like to see this TV show, The Zombie Cells. It's like a companion show for The Walking Dead. I, <laughs> it plays like a movie in my mind, all this stuff. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.